How's it going guys? This is David from phonebuff.com and today I'm doing an introduction video to Android. So this video is really meant for people who are new to Android and it's just a very very basic guide on how to navigate throughout the Android OS. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So one of the first things you're going to need to know how to do is how to lock and unlock your phone screen. And the way you do that is you're going to press the power key, either located at the top or the side of your device. But regardless of where it is, when you tap the button, it's going to turn the screen off. And this prevents you from pocket dialing and also prevents you from wasting battery life when you're not using the phone. But when you tap the button again, it brings the screen right back on to what is called the lock screen. Now this screen doesn't let you do anything. I mean, pretty much it's a lock screen. So to unlock it, you're going to have to do some kind of swiping gesture. Either it's swiping up or to the side or some kind of combination of those depending on your phone. In this case, you just swipe up and it takes you to what is called the home screen. The home screen on Android is very similar to the way the desktop is on a Windows computer. Basically, it's a space where you can put your application shortcuts, you can move them around from place to place or even screen to screen in this case, and um, when you drop it, you've rearranged your home screen. This phone has seven different home screens as you can see. Um, some phones only come with three or somewhere in between, um, really depends on your phone model, but that's pretty much how your home screen works. So if this is your home screen or desktop on a computer, then the application launcher, which is at the very bottom left or the bottom right or on the center, but it, the icon looks usually like that right here. Um, it would be your all programs list. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap this guy and you can see it gives me my full list of applications that I can scroll through. And if I wanted to add a shortcut to my home screen, I could press and hold on it and you can see I just drop it right there on my home screen so I could easier access it later on. And if you ever change your mind on having the shortcut on your home screen, you could easily delete it by pressing and holding on it and dragging it to the very bottom where it says remove, letting go, and it's gone. And you don't have to worry about it deleting from your phone itself because it's still there. Um, it's just deleting the shortcut itself. If you want to actually remove the app from your phone, you'd have to uninstall it. And there's a tutorial on how to do that on phonebook.com. So the next thing you need to know about is your notification bar. This is the bar at the very top of your phone and uh, this is where you can see your time, your battery life, your signal strength, your wireless connections that are on, but most importantly, the notifications. And the notifications that show up here can be anything from voicemails, text messages, to emails, to updates or anything like that. Basically any notification will show up right here. To access it, you tap it at the very top and scroll down. And you can see it brings down the window and it says I have a new voicemail. So if I tap that guy, it'll go straight to my voicemail app so I can listen to it. If I get a text, same thing, it'll go to the text messaging app, email, update, whatever it is, it'll take you to the place you need to go. So to close it, you can either drag this guy up or just hit the home key and you're taking right back to your home screen. So one of the most important things that you need to know about is the menu key. And the menu key is this guy at the very bottom on your phone, you can see it looks like that. Uh, might look a little bit different on your phone, but for the most part, that's what it looks like. And pressing it brings up you menu options. Now, the menu options change from screen to screen depending on what you're looking at. In this case, you can see it gives me options for notifications, main settings, personalized, ringtones, and wallpaper because I'm on my home screen. If I go to my messages and press menu, you can see it gives me different options like delete, compose, group message, settings, drafts. So whatever window you're looking at, if you want more options, tap the menu key. And if you don't find the thing you're looking for within those menu options, you might want to try something else which is called long press. So on Android, long press is the equivalent of right clicking on a Windows computer. And the way you do it is pretty much just tap and hold on anywhere on the screen and you can see it gives me a different set of options. So this is the personalized tab for HTC, but let's go to messages and I'll click on this messaging and I'll press and hold on it, and you can see it gives me a window that says view, delete, reply, forward, and things of that nature. Um, it Again, it, it changes with every application you're on, so if I go to calendar and I long press on something, you can see it just gives me the option for a new event. So it changes from screen to screen, but again, if you're looking for another option that currently isn't available, try that. So now that you know the basic ways to navigate throughout the phone, you're going to need to know how to go to your main phone's settings. And the way you do that is you go to your home screen, which is right here. Um, you just tap home and it'll take you to your home screen. And home's a little icon you see right over here. Um, typically a little shape of a house. Anyway, you press it. You're going to press the menu key and go to the settings right here. 
And you can see it gives you the options for your wireless networks, which is where your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is. You go to sound settings for your ringtones and volumes, display settings for how bright the screen is, and things of that nature. I mean, pretty much any control you're looking for um, not, that are not related to applications specifically are right here. So those are the basics to navigating throughout the Android OS, but I want to show you how to download an app because this is one of the funnest features with your Android phone. So you can see the market app right here is the place where you're going to download all your applications. It looks just like that. I'm going to go ahead and tap on it and you can see it takes you to this screen and this is the main market screen. From here you can choose to browse through applications, through music, books, and movies. I'm just going to tap apps. And I'll go ahead and download an application. So you can swipe left and right. You see it says featured, top paid, and top free. One of the best parts about Android is two thirds of the applications on the market are free. I'm gonna go ahead and download something quick and easy. We'll do Netflix. So I'm just gonna hit download right here at the very top right. I'm gonna hit accept and download again. And you can see it's downloading the application. I could actually hit home and let it download in the background. You can see in the notification bar up here, it has a little download icon and you can see it's downloading and installing Netflix. As soon as it's done, I could tap it and it'll take me straight to the application. All right, so it's done. I'll tap the guy and you can see it takes me straight to the Netflix application. So I'm gonna hit home and uh, it automatically adds itself into your main application list, but it doesn't add it to the home screen. So if you wanna add it to your home screen, you're gonna do the same thing, press and hold, drop it on your home screen and there you go. But that's pretty much it. I mean, I feel like that's enough for you to be able to navigate throughout the Android OS. Of course, it does take time to learn how to use it. Give yourself a week or two, but guarantee that you'll fall in love with it after a while. This is David from phonebuff.com. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to visit phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how to's. Thank you.